Hello everybody, I'm Ian Gibson. Welcome to yet another Tuesday night Subpixel Live live stream. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. It's a solo stream. Um, it's okay to do a solo stream. We do solo streams all the time. We're gonna be doing a Hades playthrough. Uh, well, I say playthrough, but it, it's a roguelike, so we're gonna do a couple runs. Uh, Hades is a brand new indie roguelike dungeon crawler. Dungeon crawler. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really know how to describe this game. Roguelike, roguelite, dungeon crawler, dungeon shooter, top down, etc. I, I, I don't know. But according to Moby Games, it is a quote roguelike dungeon crawler in which you defy the god of death as you hack and slash your way out of the underworld of Greek myth. This game was available for a while in uh, early access, but it recently hit 1.0, um, and it also came to Steam, and it also came to Switch. We're playing it on Switch today. Let's go ahead and flip over to the game here. Yep, can't see it. I wonder why you can't see it. Let's see. Hey. 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 Don't worry. I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, let me add this, this, this. I'm gonna throw it all the way under here. There you go, now you can see it. And you can hear it, and you can hear me. Okay, let's um, let's party hardy, folks. Um, so this is from Supergiant. Um, they've done Bastion, they've done Transistor. Um, they've been pretty well known. Um, and I've been having some fun with this. I probably have about f six hours into the game. So basically this is kind of the hub world. This is the underworld. You have a bunch of characters here you can talk to. Oh no, I've, I see I should have kept these for you. I already did all this. Um, so basically you would come through here, you would talk to these various people, you would get some upgrades. But in reality, let's kick you right into the action and then I'll kind of show you, I think it's best to show you the action first and then the hub world you come back to. So a lot of this stuff is gonna make more sense. Um, I've already unlocked all the weapons. I've unlocked some of the skills. I have not completed a full run. I believe there's three areas with three bosses and I've gotten to the second boss. Um, okay, so let's pick one of these weapons. I'm gonna pick... What are the limits of your power? I'm gonna pick the spear because it has um, this around it, which means you get 20% more... I don't even know what they're called. Purple crystals. Let's call them crystals. Um, you basically have two types of attack. You have your main attack. So that's that. Or I can hold it down to get a little spin by default. I have a special. Which is a skewer and a recall. And then I have... Um, that will change based on which weapon you choose. So for example, if I choose the shield... I can do a shield bash, or I can just kind of throw it, and it comes back and it bounces around. Or, for example, if I choose melee, that's my main attack. That's my special. So you have those things. Um, but you also have uh, a, a cast. So I don't know if you can see, but basically I target an enemy... And I throw this little blood crystal at them, and then that blood crystal either comes back when they die, or if I pick it up, or if it recharges, based on how you have your skills set up. Um, and then I have a dash. I have two double dash, because I unlock that. So here's the thing. We're just going to do a run, but uh, with most roguelites, it's like, you know, we don't care. We don't care how you did in that run. Unless you beat the game, it doesn't count, basically. Then there's other roguelikes where they're like, you know what, we'll we'll unlock future content. So, for example, you in Dead Cells, you can unlock blueprints, which means that during your next run, you have the chance of encountering newer, rarer weapons. Um, Supergiant has done something different with Hades, something that I really appreciate. You, There are plenty of things that you are unlocking during the run. For example, crystals, for example, gems, for example, keys, for example, titan blood, for example, diamonds. Things that are you, you are pulling out of the run. So at the end of the run, you don't necessarily lose everything. As a matter of fact, you barely lose anything at all. You just lose your coins in your life. That attempt is over, but then you bring back all these resources. 
So, for example, these weapons, I had to spend keys to unlock them one by one. Um, I have keepsakes power. that I have uh, unlocked by talking to specific gods, giving them nectar that I picked up in runs, and they give me little boons. So, for example, uh, this is the Lucky Tooth. It automatically restore up to 100 HP when your life total is depleted, so it's kind of like a, a retry, in a way. Um, I have some that I've been trying to update. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Deal 30% plus damage while at 30% health or less. So I'm trying to rank those up, which is basically going through encounters with them equipped. So uh, let's just let's just get into this, and you'll you'll see we've got some stuff going on here. And then you'll see as as I pick up items during the run, we'll come back to the hub world, and I'll show you how we can spend them. Ah uh, yes. Cool. So you'll get little you'll get one upgrade at the start, and then every time you clear an encounter, you get upgrades. I'm sorry, not necessarily upgrades, but you get a drop. So that drop can be coin, it can be crystals, it can be gems, it can be, this is a, a weapon upgrade, it can be a boon, which is where you get like a skill or special effect from one of the gods. Okay, so let's, spin attack deals 125% damage and hits a large area, so that's my hold down. I'm not crazy about that. Dash strike hits three times, but your dash has, I, I hate dash strikes. Not good enough for him. Let's do this. Just right. So you can see I upgraded that. Cool. All right, so at the end of the level, you're going to get these doors. There's only one option here, but sometimes there's multiple options. They do a really cool thing, which is they show, hey, this next encounter is going to have a key. So if you go into this next encounter and you beat it, you get a key. But sometimes there'll be two or three options. You know, let's say key and coins. Do you want coins or do you want a key? Um, it takes a little bit of the randomness out of it. See? Nice and easy. That's one encounter. I now have an extra key. Looks like that's our only option. So keys are mostly used for unlocking weapons, and then after that you can use them to unlock additional do do? skill options, basically. Alright, so that is max HP, and they do the nice thing, when you get max HP, you get that HP on top as well. So let me just check for other doors, so there's only one door option here, but there is the Chaos Gate, so I will immediately lose 21 health, but I get a little bit of a gamble boon, and, and I'll show you those when we come through. Um, so, let's see. So, something that you probably haven't noticed yet, but I certainly have. I've been playing this game six or seven hours. None of the dialogue has been repeated. They wrote so much dialogue that as you are playing the game, every time you go through a run, there's new dialogue. So every time I encounter this guy, which has probably been a dozen or two times now, he's given me unique dialogue. And some of the bosses, like the second time you come against the boss, they say, oh, you again? I thought I killed you last time. Or, you know, let's say you beat them and then you come across them during your next run, they'll say, you humiliated me last time. It's unique. Every single time, and it's fully voiced, it's fantastic. There's also little tidbits of the story in the hub world that only progress every time you go to the hub world. So it's like you go to the hub world, you talk to a character, he gives you a little bit more of the story. You go through an attempt, you die, you come back to the hub world, you get a little bit more of the story. They do a really good job of... of you listen, so it's just like when I get those messages from the Olympians. Wait, you did just prompt me, Master Chaos, didn't you? Or should I have remained silent just now? So Zagreus is the main character. Um, but lots of character between these gods and the main character. 
Absolute silence is my general preference. It may not be yours. Um, so it's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm used to roguelikes where the first couple runs you see unique stuff, quote unquote, but then you're like, oh, this guy always says this. Oh, this boss always says this tease right before I fight him. But this time you are, every single run is in a slightly different context because the voiceovers and the story progresses a little bit. All right, so let's see. For the next four chambers, chamber reward previews are hidden, but afterwards I gain an additional cast. Uh, Missile ambush. For the next three encounters, you take 280% plus damage from traps afterward. You reveal double damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. Your life total is reduced by 27 for the next three encounters afterward. Your special deals. I already have special damage on top, so let's let's do this. So if you see on the left-hand side, I have my layout, basically. So let me come in here. So the little three means three encounters. I take extra damage from traps. But afterwards, I get a... Most boons are not like that, but chaos is kind of like, hey, you... You carry this, you survive, you get extra. Oh my goodness, these guys are armored. All right, so crystals, that's used for upgrading your skills. So I've got two options. I can go to the store. I've only got 28 coin, so that's not worth it. Or I can do a mini boss encounter and get more crystals. Let's do that, more crystals. enemies. Cool. Got it. Alright, that is coin. This is Poseidon. I'm going for the boon. I don't really care about coin so much. Just in general. Well, not in general. Of course I care about money in real life. How do you think I play for my gumbo? Nice. Suck your side. Your Uncle Zeus by now, correct? Just want to let you know, good Zeus gets very busy on the regular. So you just stick with me. I'm always time for you, nephew. All right, let's see what we got. Your attack deals more damage and knocks foes away. Special deals more damage. I've already got a special boost. Your cast damages foes in an area and knocks them away. I'm going to go with the base attack because I, I always use the attack. And then if you see on the left-hand side, my abyssal ambush... I cleared the three encounter challenge, so now I get 92% plus damage from behind. Cool stuff. All right. I keep forgetting to cast. So I do have the upgrade that normally when you use your cast. You either have to go pick it up or kill the enemy that it's planted in. But I bought the upgrade that makes it so that you it just regenerates after like four seconds. So those are gems that I just got. Gems help you build build out the hub world, which unlocks extra stuff. Coin or Athena for a mini boss. Athena for a mini boss. 
Let's give me some boons. You and me. Oh, these guys are annoying. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, I forget. Always forget they drop one at the end. You reached the flames of Asphodel. Well done. You may have quite a distance still to go, but having crossed through Tartarus is no small step, cousin. So Tartarus is the current area I'm in. Asphodel is the next one, which I've gotten to before. So she's basically commenting, "Hey, in your previous run, you got to Asphodel." Special is stronger and can deflect. Your dash deals damage and can deflect. Resist damage from traps. I think I want this one. I really like this one because basically... See little shields pop up on me? So if somebody's trying to hit me or cast a projectile at me and I dash through it, deflect means it bounces back towards them. All right, the pomegranate. That's, I don't know if that's actually what it is. I'm just going to call it that. More numbskulls? That helps you level up a boon. Ugh. See that? So if this guy fires at me, the deflect basically means. Oh. Come on, do it again. See, I basically throw it back at him. A poem of power. Alright. Do I want to level up my attack? Or my dash? I think my dash. Stronger still. Do I want gems? I, th I think I want. I think I want gems. Let's see. Let's see what I get. Oh God! Uh -oh. Do not presume that you escape my notice. Shop here. Then here we go. I defied death there, came back with half health. Decidedly Woo. below my expectation. Peace and quiet. Oh, we got a little shop here. Trove trial to earn up to 100. Yeah, let's do it. It's a little challenge. I thought I'd find you here. I have to clear as quickly as I can. The last cover. There I it is. Shall deal with you later, then. What's that? So I got 70 out of 100. That's worth it. Uh, Dionysius, only option. Here we go. Thank you. 
Nicely done, boys. I gotta hand it to you, Zach. You don't back down. You don't ever back down. What is this? Like the twentieth time that you've attempted to escape? Maybe. Using a fountain restores all health, whereas normally only restores like 50-60%. And gives you bonus damage. Hmm. Oh, and the faded choice. There's like there's like challenges basically, and there are things like, hey, get every boon from this god. And so faded choice means choose this to to qualify for that. I mean, not to qualify, but to make progress towards it. Look at that. Store's up next. Cool. And I just got a bunch of cash from that trove. Let's see what we got here. Okay, alright. This tells me... It's a skull, so it's a boss, plus the two... The star next to it with the two chevrons. That means it's the, the end boss. This is max health. It will give me 25 and it'll immediately give me 25 right now. And then I can go to that. But you know what? I think I think I need the boom. I'll take this one. Any damage you deal has a chance to be critical. Your special is stronger with 20% chance to deal critical damage. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I can Let's party. I guess Electo. They also like after twenty runs, they started changing out who the mid boss would be. You've really done it, Zagreus. My sisters have returned. All three of us now share the same assignment. So basically, this boss is now changing at random, whereas before is it was it not. Is of me that I'm somewhat honored to have garnered the attention of the Aaron Yees? Oh, I would say it's very wrong of you indeed. So for this, I want to deflect into it, because then its projectiles are coming back at her. Oh, I should see that coming. that boss folks i done did it um whew. Whew. why is my what i'm streaming right now why don't you go to sleep girl <laughs> nice okay let's proceed to asphodel the lava region nice fountain Let's keep going. Guys, I got my Christmas catalog. Look. Put that next to my Lego catalog. Which to choose? Alright, so here's where go with that one. I've changed my keep because now I have that basically gets me an additional life. It is Oh really? Oh, you can only do it once? That's kinda cool. 
So if you see, it says once per escape attempt. So I like to grab that here, depending on how many lives I need. Okay, let's. I still got 75. Let's see what's in the shop. Except, see, these are just. See, the last six encounters, eight encounters. That would have been nice to have, but it's okay. It's part of it to the surface. This is the lava region. Alright, I've gotten to the boss of this place like three or four times. I've actually gotten very close the last time. I just haven't quite beaten him yet. one of my skills or get another boon. I've only got one powered up. Let's get another boon. Not a bad encounter. I've got a keen eye, boss, so I happen to notice you've got a certain tooth you're carrying about. I know you're in the land of the dead and all, but don't you think that comes across as just a little odd? Probably. Cage time tooth. Gain a bit of wealth. Not bad. Special is faster. Whenever you hit, you have a chance to dodge automatically. It's a 10% chance of dodging damage. Taste of Hermes. That's pretty good. Okay, that's a shop or a key. Let's go to key.
know why they are cold. Pass for Poseidon, mini pass for Dionysus. Don't I have? Attack deals more damage, especially stronger. So these will level up a little bit if you. If you have one from Poseidon and you get a second, there's a chance you get a second level Poseidon that required the first. Hit me if you can, which is... Out of health there. Slamming flows into barriers. Creates a watery blast in the area. Your boons with knockaway effects also rupture foes. Cast damages areas. Let's do this one. I feel like I'm always hitting people into stuff. Like it's just crystals I can go for. All aboard. Hardy hardy, let's see what we got here. Oh, I dodged that. Bad. I basically I'm about to lose this life, but I got two lives on me. Just taking a look around. Okay, now this one I like. Basically, you get to pick one, and then if you survive the encounter, you get the other one. Let's go for. Go for Dionysus because sometimes he gives you hangover, which is kind of like an area of effect yeah, man, thing. You know what it's all about. Gain max life when you pick up nectar. Nectar's very rare. Cast lobs a large explosive, festive fog, stun foes. I don't think it's that good. Yeah, let's do this. No one in our family can avoid taking sides forever, Zagreus. So now I have a call. But you can take the more sensible side, at least. She'll get over it. I guess she's upset. Oh, damn it.
impervious goobers. Cast damages areas in this suppose in a spawn. I can deflect. It's not bad. You deflect attacks, it deals more damage. I think that's what I want. Do I want to go to the shop or do I want Athena? Go to the shop. Hoping I can get another life charge. Hi. Okay, I can't get all three, but that's okay. I can get this. I'll take it. I can get this. Members of our family do not yet fully understand just how precarious your situation is, cousin. My lord Dionysus here. He goes about as though this is a festive matter of some sort. Oh, come on, Athena, girl. You really mean to tell me that discovering a long-lost relative isn't a cause for celebrating right away? <gasps> I think it's you happening. You're telling me a thing like that. Because if Zack isn't a cause for feasting, I don't know what is. Duo, your foe's ranged attack projectiles are slower. So because I have both of these guys, something happened behind the scenes to give me the opportunity of getting this. Thanks, family. Having traversed the flaming river Phlegathon to gain this vantage point, relentless Zagreus must now confront a foe of unimaginable savagery who lies ahead waiting patiently it's time to strike excuse me all right time for the mid boss old man let's party i think i've got about 160 hp to deal with you can fulfill my father's wishes <laughs> Impervious. So now we get the side goopers. Oh, not in the lava. Got one down.
I gotta get out of the way of that one. Yes! Woo. It's the first time I've beaten him. <laughs> Man, I wasn't even getting crazy about that build, but that call really helped. I got a diamond. I got a diamond! Nice one, y'all. Okay. Store some health. Prometheus Stone, gain plus one for your cast. Restore up to 34. I don't need that, though. What do I got for... Trying to think of something that's gonna make me last longer. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, because I've already chosen it for this run. 10% plus damage striking a damage foes, also striking foes from behind, so that's gonna double up my backstab. These are just gonna confirm boons that I get. Plus one dodge chance and move speed each time you quickly clear an encounter. I already did my Chaos Gate. What's this one? Talk special cast each deal 40% by a boon, but I already have a bunch of boons. Okay. Yeah, let's do this one. Extra backstab damage. Uh, I think that's all I can do, pretty much. Let's party. Made it this far. Got it. Where am I now? Fields of Elysium. This is my first time here. The rare heavenly splendors of Elysium, reserved for only the most great of mortal souls, spread forth luxuriantly all about the fire stepping prince. Luxuriantly? Really? Hmm. Oh, max health, or I want to power up? I think I need to power up. I've only got a level, a single level two. So power ups basically let me level up one of my current boons. Bright swords. Oh, these covers. Is that eyeball? Is that him? Interesting. New enemies. Power of the gods. Slamming foes into barriers. S creates a watery blast in the area. It's still a good one. Shot in my senses. Okay. Do I want Hermes or coin? Let's go, Hermes. I probably wanted the coin, hoping that I can eventually get an item. Chariots. Dash more times in a row after you dash. Briefly become sturdy. Let's do this. Gives me a little extra protection. Shop. I don't have much money. Let's go for nectar. Nectar's what you get to the gods to get you keepsakes. 
plane wheels. If I didn't have the right build, this would be crazy. These little goobers. Athena. I think I want Athena. I think you're supposed to kind of stick with the same gods once you start getting them in a run. Soul such butterflies. Good run, though. Definitely farthest I've ever gotten. So, one run down. Uh, so, did everybody miss me? But, unlike everything else in roguelikes, where it's just like run down, okay, maybe you unlock the character, or whatever. You'll see down here, I still have everything that I got. I have my diamond, my four titan blood. My six keys, my 51 gems, my 156 crystals, my one nectar. Some of that's even from previous runs that had just been not spent yet. And everybody I talk to now has something new to say. So you lost a duel to the death with an exalted bright sword, did you? They're pretty that's much who I lost to. Best, so don't feel bad. It had to happen. But if it's any consolation, it'll probably happen again. Fair point. Probably. Let's go talk to Achilles. I found another weapon waiting for me in the courtyard, Achilles. Exagriff. I never entirely believed it was real. Between us, lad, I wish it wasn't. Was such a thing available to my enemies during my fighting days? I surely would have come here even sooner. But I trust you have the training to use it well. May it serve you as it served the fire goddess Hestia. She hasn't needed it in a while. I'll use it to the best of my ability, sir. Cool. Where's Cerberus? I think I need to give him a... Let's go talk to my dad. Who hates me. tells me that you surpassed her well out there. I did. I beat her. How utterly embarrassing for her, to say the least. I suppose you're going to punish her in some cruel fashion, then. Oh, I've already seen to that, of course. You think she volunteered to deal with you? Nobody did. That's how ignoble a task it is. So you see what I mean? Comforting to know. It's it's not just dialogue based on what happened in the run it's also i've never seen that dialogue line before and this is like 25 30 runs in so it's it's pretty cool keeps the hub world very fresh keeps the story moving along i kind of feel bad for meg now because basically every time i beat her she she kind of falls out of favor with zeus and because i kept beating her he brought back her sisters who were crazy and like it's she doesn't like being around her sisters and then because I'm going through a run, now I have a chance of getting her or her sisters as that first boss. It's crazy. Okay, let's see. I got 51. Update the codex with a handy list of boons for each Olympian. First of all, sealed document, free Orpheus from solitary confinement. In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. <gasps> oh, um, hello. Cool. Ah, Orpheus. All right, and then I've been told that this is important. Here are the gems. Gives me a nice list of boons. The, the better off I'll be. 
You will be better off, believe you me. Actually, you know what? I want to see what else we got. Fountain chamber. So this adds a chamber in the middle of Elysium that restores health. You saw I, I hit one or two of them in um, this past run in the other worlds. Chambers may contain urns with 15. It's not bad. Oh, hello, Zagreus. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Morpheus, you're back. Look, don't get on father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. It's okay, I'll gift her the nectar that I just got. Hey, mate. Here. I got this from my favorite court musician. Oh my, but you can't simply be this kind to me without retaliation on my part, my friend. And so in turn, I have a gift for you. You're New kind, keepsake, mate. distant memory. So we'll go take a look at that, that in a bit. Let's talk to Nyx. You have confronted the exalted shades with an Elysium, my child. Your father offers them a handsome bounty should they bring your journey to an end. Although, I think the pride of vanquishing you would more than suffice in getting them to take up arms again. I'll make them work for it, at least. Oh, here's Meg. Let's see what she's got to say. We got off on the wrong foot from the start. Just what happens when you're born of Titan blood, I guess. It's for the best we haven't crossed paths much since. But they're your sisters. I mean, they're family. You must have something in common, some way of, I don't know, seeing eye to eye. Please. You're more my sister than they are to me, Dusa. I don't always agree with Lord Hades, but I'm thankful that they're not permitted in this house. Yikes. Hey, look, I understand. I really do. You can't be serious. Did you hear that? That's what I thought. Yep. Oh, it's so weird. It's like literally a whisper. So you're like trying to overhear the conversation. The ancient casks of wine Ooh. hidden within the recesses of the house of Lord Hades. Few have tasted the intoxicating vintage they contain, and fewer still are permitted to anywhere near their vicinity. Oh. Still waiting for the festive occasion when we'll open one of these. So let's go check out my room. All right, so this is the desk. The desk has the faded list. So you see, I have these things that I can get. So for example, I worked with the house contractor to release Orpheus, so now I can claim Tartarus is gloomy enough without 80 Orpheus gems. in it. Um, I got the Chthonic Knowledge. Achilles' Codex. I'm getting somewhere with it. Cool. This must be new. The son of the god of the dead shall someday earn various duo boons offered by pairs of Olympians. Well, there's a lot of duo boons. I've gotten at least one. So you can see these is kind of my... I've already gotten those. Cool. Okay. Right, I'm going to go back real quick. I just got a bunch of gems. Let's see if I can unlock some more. Constructions. Yeah, let's do this. Contractor, I would ask that you pursue this job. I'll be excited to see the result. That shall be of no help to you, I'm sure. Okay, let's go check the mirror. The mirror is where I basically upgrade my skills. So you see, you spend these crystals. And then I can switch between them. Maybe this. So let's deal more damage if they have crystals in them. I think I'm just going to keep it. I want that death defiance. So I'm just going to hold on to that. But you see down here, if I do... 
If I spend 10 coins, 10 keys, I can unlock more. But I've only got six keys. Or I can spend one key to just get all my crystals back and respend it. Uh, let me show you the keepsakes. We'll look at the one that we just got from Orpheus. So I am playing this game on Switch. Um, it runs pretty well. There's definitely, t it feels like 60 frames per second, 720 handheld, 1080 docked. Um, it pretty much sticks to, ten to 60 frames per second. Occasionally, sometimes enemies get thick. It gets down to four 45, but that's still more than enough. It's great in handheld mode. I've been playing it in bed, taking it out. If I, if I know I have to sit somewhere for 20, 30 minutes, I'll do a run. The Switch is great because you just hit the power button. And it pauses the run. You don't have to worry about saving or anything like that. Let's talk to Skelly real quick. That lucky tooth you gave me, Skelly. First off, thanks again. And secondly, is this even yours? I had a run-in with Hermes who got me thinking. What? <laughs> you gonna believe everything that Gabby guy tells you now, boyo? He doesn't know a thing about me. Never said he did. Though since you let on, what's your relationship to him? Working for him? No! No, nope, <laughs> definitely not working for him. Closer to a peer relationship. Well, other than the fact that he's a god and I'm just... Well, what you see is what you get with me, pal. Hey, you won't tell anyone, will you? I'm just here to help, I swear. Fine. Maybe. All right, so let's take a look at the keepsakes. New one there. Got a new one. Distant memory deal 10% damage to distant foes. So that's probably good to go with the bow. Well, folks, that's going to do it for tonight's stream. Um, I hope I've given you a good look at Hades. I, I think it's definitely a game of the year contender. Great stuff. Uh, I think it's on sale for 20 or 25 right now. It's It does a lot to the roguelike genre that I I think are kind of common sense things that have not been done because people want to preserve the sanctity of the roguelike genre. Having a lot of run-to-run -run progression, having items you take out of a run, having stories that progress regardless of how the run actually went. You know, you can have a two minute run where you die right away and you come back you're still going to get new storylines um great combat great variety it's just a whole lot of fun and you know you pair that with the switch fantastic portable handheld console it's just a whole lot of fun so if you've enjoyed today's stream you can find me on twitter at think gibson and you can find more subpixel content at subpixelfilms.com that takes you right to our youtube page where we have all sorts of stream archives as well as edited videos jake just put up a video yesterday on the history of lego universe that's right the lego mmo that came and went as quickly as it was released um and if you just want to hang out and hear about stuff from us uh projects that we promote streams that are coming up all sorts of stuff you can follow us on twitter facebook instagram and twitch at subpixel theme thank you guys so much for joining uh we'll see you on thursday where we may be streaming watchdogs legion we're not sure yet. Keep an eye on our Twitter. Keep an eye on our Twitch. We'll let you know. We may be streaming that. If not, we're still going to have a great stream. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.